Okay, I'm back for another part of our usage of command box. Um, it's a new world that I'm in. Because I broke the other one and didn't back it up. Now today we're going to be adding um, no PVP to parts of the server. In particular it will be the spawn area. Um, if you watch my other ones you'll be familiar with this uh, new player setup chain. Over there are my command blocks for sending mobs to the pit, uh, the fire, the lava pit to destroy them. Um, this is the spawn control area which I covered in, a, in another episode. And I've modified it, oh, well I've added another slight control so that admins can work with in the area but not close to where I am now. So um, I've added a new tag to myself called World Forger and anyone who's not a World Forger within 55 blocks cannot or are in adventure mode here. And anyone with admin gets their survival turn back on after they get to 57 blocks whereas everybody else only gets survival after 150 as per um, what we set up on that other server. Okay, to um, to have no PvP area we're going to use the teams control. So we'll set up two teams, one called PvP on and one called PvP off. Now all new players will spawn into the new area and we don't want PvP around the spawn. So we'll be adding a command block to this chain which turns their puts them on team PvP off. So let's first we have to add the teams to the server and we do that through our normal chat control. So um, the first one is um, we'll do PvP off team and that's what we use team add PvP off is the name and PvP versus player mode off is the description. Uh, probably won't see the description much. We'll be using PvP off in our command blocks. Now we can also set the colour and do a whole lot of things with teams. If you type in the, the team you can see that you can um, join empty teams, add te new teams, list the number of teams, remove a team or modify. If you modify, say, PvP off, you've got all these different things you can do. Uh, we're going to do the colour. So um, I'll just copy and paste this. So we're actually going to make the colour grey. So to distinguish it from the normal white you see people's names. So if their names are listed in the side like the new citizen badge there then and they're in the spawn area or the PvP off area their name will be grayed. Okay so that's team modify PvP off grey. Now it's probably where we add the command block so we need to stick it in the chain and we still need to have this one on the end of the chain so we'll copy this one and we'll destroy this block because we need to go up now to make another row so we point that down that way and we add our end block and put the code back chain and always active. 
chain and always active. Now here we want to join our new citizen to the PVP off team. So it's team join PVP off at all tag e equals not citizen. So that now will become part of their um, first entry into our world. Shall we just test that? We'll save some of these items. Oh, we've already got that one there, we've already got that one there, we just haven't got this one. Okay, so let's remove my citizen tag. And it'll be just like I log to the server. We can ignore that I've got the other tags because the blocks won't affect that. I accept that I won't, uh, that I'll have creative when I come back. But anyway, remove citizen. There we go. And my name isn't great. Oh yes it is. The grey is nearly the same colour as the white. Either that or I did it wrong. Aha, okay. We've got a big capital V here. We need to Add team PV little PVP off. Now we need to we need to remove the wrong one. No players on PvP. Okay, so let's go and fix that. <coughs> In an earlier one, I showed these little um, simple portals. Um, if any of them get removed from the stream, oh, sorry, from my stream page. Um, I've sent them all to um, YouTube under the same name, so go to Morphody on YouTube and you'll be able to find all of these. Okay, we want little v here. Now let's try that again. Maybe I didn't do the colour either. There we go. Didn't work because there was none of that colour. So now I've got a slightly less white name and I'm in no PvP. I'm team. There's one other thing we've got to do. And that's make it so that people in no PvP um, can't kill each other.
to do that we go team modify team name friendly fire equals false So if um, there were others here, they couldn't shoot me with arrows or kill me with swords or whatever. This is where all the mobs get um, sent to in the spawn area. Disintegrates them and any of the drops that they have. Makes the spawn area safe. Again, that was in another stream. If it's uh, not on my stream site anymore, it'll be in the YouTube section okay so that works uh, now we need to be able to turn pvp on so most of the time P people will be in the pvp on team unless later when we set up games and we'll have them on blue team red team whatever but at the moment we're just um Doing a normal PvP world, we'll get to those things later. So we need to add another team, and that will be PvP on. And it's the same as the other one, except Actually, we want a little v. Let's not make that mistake. So this is the PvP on team, and we'll make their colour white. So it's a normal Minecraft colour. So PVP on colour equals white. Okay, done. So like with the um, the area protection by making um, player players either um, survival or adventure. Adventure. And survival when they get out of range. We'll use this exact same system to turn their PvP back on when they get away from the spawn. So I've probably got Phoenix was flying around because I haven't slept. So I'm going to put those up here making this a bit of a display. got a command block. Okay. Could have just went and got one from pushing the button, but this will be quicker. Okay. So for this we want to make sure that everybody within the radius of the spawn, the 150, it joins the team PvP off. So same as everyone within this radius gets turned into adventure mode. Now this is going to be for everybody, so admins aren't going to have an advantage over anybody else or anything. And chain, repeat always active. Uh, remember always to back up your servers before you change stuff in case you muck them up because sometimes a command box, especially if you're using teleports, uh, you can't go back and fix it if it's going to teleport you away. Okay, now when somebody walks back into the spawn area we need to put them on the no PvP team. So we need to create that order again 
um, between um, Z150 and just outside. So when they leave the 150, it will turn the PVP back on. And when they return through that same section, it'll turn PVP off. Okay. So that will be team join PVP on at a distance between 150 and 153. So we've got a ring that they have to cross over where it will change from one to the other. Okay, same as we did with the adventure and survival modes. So I reckon that'll look uh, pretty interesting for players to see the command box and down into there. Anyway, let's test that out. At the moment I'm on PvP. Oh, sorry, no PvP. Never works when I get to about 150 blocks. So I should uh, be back on normal PvP. There we go. Normal PvP. Say that again. Not PvP. PvP. Not a lot of difference in colour. Let's try a different. Let's try a different grey and see if it's too much. Oh, I suppose that's all right. So when you're dark grey, you're not in PvP. So there's no PvP. Okay. So That's not all. If uh, it's a fair bet that if we used one of the portals, which are outside the range, that it wouldn't, wouldn't be affected by the command box. Because we're going to skip that little radius. So we need to fix that up for every portal. Let's just test it. I have these portals here. Those ones are still blank. But let's say we've got the western waypoint. And my PvP is off. And yeah, I'm still off. Until I actually hit that ring, which is probably over here somewhere. There we go. And likewise, if I was to take the portal back, Actually, no, if I take the bottle back, it should work because we've got within the range. Yes. Okay. So, if someone takes this portal, we need to turn their PvP back on. So, we add another little command block. Just in case you missed it, that's the teleport command. Distance two blocks away. Make sure you always have that distance in and make sure it's not something ridiculous. If um, you get teleported away from the command block and you and it was a mistake, you can't get back to <laughs> to disable it. OK. 
Okay, so under here, we'll put another command block and in that we will put um, we'll, uh, we need to turn on PvP for people. So that will be um, and we don't want to make it 150, we'll make it within 10 blocks of the portal. If they're already out here and they've got PvP on, actually we want them to join PvP on, not PvP off. If they're out here and they've already got PvP on, it won't hurt them, but if they teleport into the portal area, they'll be within 10 blocks and then it'll automatically turn on PvP for them. Which it should do for me now. Yep. So there you go. The other thing we'll need to do at these portals, which I haven't done yet, is make the protection the same as we've done for the spawn, but we'll just make the protection for 20. So I won't go over that here. So each one of these will have the two command box that you have in the spawn, only instead of 150 and then the 150, 153 outer limit, you'll have uh, a radius of 20 for the first command block and the second block will be um, 21 to 23 so that they can't um, affect anything within 20 blocks okay so this one was the western portal let's go to the eastern portal do the same thing Excuse me. So that's um, team join PVP on distance. What do we have? Dot dot fifteen. Or ten. Ten's good enough. Let's just copy that so we can do it to the next one. PVP off, PVP on. Okay. Southern portal. Too easy. No mods required. I don't know if there is a mod for that. I haven't done the um, northern portal yet. Because I was going to just show portals again, but I'm not sure I need to. Anyway, let's just do that before I go. So, what am I looking at? Oh, where am I standing? The reason for having you teleported away 
from the portal a bit because if you teleported yourself back to here and this portal teleported you back to the other one now you'd be just going backwards and forwards you wouldn't be able to escape the loop so teleport you out to here from the other portal so that is what we're looking at minus 24 and minus 18 So that's north. Whoops. Always something, isn't there? That's better. What were those numbers again? Uh, minus 24, 64, minus 18, I think. Remember the distance. Two box. Um, I think we'd probably be facing minus ninety and facing straight out. portals it's always best to be careful so it's repeat stick a switch on it okay not quite right where are we standing 24 and 18 and we want to be facing this way which is 90 okay where's my north post there it is Is it ninety? Eighteen twenty four. Minus 18, minus 24. I 
that's the other way around, isn't it? Minus 18, minus 24. Now, where's three box out from here? What am I looking at? I'm looking at 13 minus 208. 13 minus 208. <laughs> That's definitely wrong. See how much fun they can be. <sighs> My memory is shocking because I haven't had much sleep. We can take the switch off now. And always active. Yeah, so I don't have to remember. Copy. Why is it putting me over one? Forget the distance, or we'd be forever being teleported. Easy to do. So that way is 90, then this way is minus 180, and facing straight ahead. Not quite. So we're looking at 13,207 and 72. Thirteen two oh seven seventy two. And we need to be 180. This one needs to be 19. Oh, I had that one right, did I? Yeah, that was right. It's much quicker than running, isn't it? This is 19. Why? Oh, 
Ah, oh, there's no difference. Idiot. There we go. And this is the admin portal. In here I'll have all the admin um, and stuff like um, I'll probably make a copy machine, so you might be interested in that. Put an item in one end and get a duplicate out the other end. And um, various blocks that they might need to help people and other things. But only admins can get in here. So, um, that's it for this stream. Um, I'll catch you next time. I think I better put me... Um, orange glass back since these all work nicely Okay, I will take myself back to in front of my command block that gives me creative, and because that's something else I've done with this world, um, I've gone into, because it's a Java world on a outside server, I'm able to go into the properties settings in on the server itself and change the default game mode to always be um, survival so anybody that comes in um, if I leave now um, when I come back I will be in survival so See, survival. So that uh, is another way to stop hackers and people with certain advantages coming into your game. Okay, catch you uh, next time. Thanks for watching.